Shauna John Scott are the most popular twin tap dancers since the Nicholas Brothers. With their high-flying hip-hop style, they've been all over the world, live and on television. When we cast them on crime scenes, we got a chance to hear from them up close and personal, hear what they got to say. Well, we started tap dancing at six years old. My, my mom uh, uh, knew how uh, energetic we were. We were bouncing around the house and all that. Michael Jackson was hot in the 80s. We was uh, we had a lot of time on our hands, and we used to ride on the walls and be dancing around the uh the house all day long. So she saw Sammy Davis Jr. one day and uh, she was like, that'd be perfect. That'd be perfect, a gentleman's art. We went to the School of Performing Arts. Uh, we were taught by an Italian man by the name of Alper Giacchio. He was like a father figure to us, um, you know, he passed several years ago. But uh, we've been with him since we, since the age of six. And um, so for about 27 years, and we like remain to keep his legacy going. Some of the schools we went to was uh, Coburn School of Performing Arts. We went to um, uh, Universal Dance Design with Paul Kennedy. Um, and I even took up a jazz dance for about a year and a half um, at my art school in Hollywood High. And uh, they had tap class there as well. And then we took up a little theater. Well, we used well. to teach the tap class, actually. Um, we were way better than the teacher. After that, we started street performing in Santa Monica, the third street promenade, for about 12 years. Yeah, started at the age of 14. Instead of getting a, you know, a summer job like at McDonald's, we decided to street perform. It was more like a, uh, a hobby, and then it started, you know, the money started being good, and we started meeting people, and we started having social lives out in Santa Monica, so we started going, going out there more. Being out there at the promenade, a lot of producers, they saw us and put us on the TV shows, like uh, the Roseanne Show was one of, one of the first ones, Apollo. Yeah. The Roseanne Show, yeah, uh, with uh, Gregory Hines. Gregory Hines came out and surprised us. Yeah. Um, we did the Apollo, Apollo, we won that. And uh, we did America's Got Talent. Uh, men from Mars, women from Venus. The Gong Show. BET, uh, LA Live, well, Live from LA. Yeah, and uh, um, so Steve forth. Harvey's show. Yeah. Um, Any commercials? Uh, a lot of commercials. A lot of different commercials. Yeah. Liverpool's mobile commercials. Yeah, Nike, uh, Michael Vick. Uh, we worked with Usher, um, and uh, we, we actually got the choreograph uh, for a Movie Rocks Award. Uh, he was portraying, portraying um, Gene Kelly singing In the Rain, and we were one of the choreographers along with Danny Wooten. And, um, oh yeah, we trained him for about uh, a month. He flew us out to Atlanta. And then, uh, and then after that, we got to work with him again um, for Dancing with the Stars. Um, and then we did, we did Dancing with the Stars twice with special guests. And one of them were, was uh, called Dancing Through the Time, Decades. And uh, we uh, portrayed Nicholas Brothers. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then also we, uh, we uh, trained uh, 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 Marianne a little bit. And... Um, a few other celebrities. Yeah, you know. worked with Beyonce. Well, we did like a five-day tour with her, and then we did, you know, a party for her, and, um, for her husband. It was a Jay Z birthday party. Flew us out to the Dominican Republic. That was fun, you know. Um, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Madonna as well. And, uh, she flew, flew us out to to, to to Cannes, France, for her birthday. And then uh, a lot of like a lot, a lot of big people there. And then also, uh, man, a lot of different people. Prince. We worked with Prince a lot. The way we landed in Vegas was we got a call from our friends, friends of ours, uh, the Nicholas sisters, which is the Nicholas brothers' granddaughters, a friend of ours, uh, Kathy and Nicole. I think Kathy called us, and um, she mentioned something about um, there's an audition um, in Las Vegas, and they're looking for two duo acts, like a duo act, uh, two brothers or whatever. Wow. So, um, so he, and then shortly after, we got a call from the uh, producer of Vegas the Show at, uh, at uh, Planet Hollywood. And, um, you know, me and John were kind of, like, apprehensive about moving out to uh, Las Vegas because we're comfortable in Los Angeles, and that's where our family is. And, you know, we didn't know what to expect. So um, so we ended up uh, coming out here, and we loved it, you know. And the people embraced us. He embraced us. The cast embraced us, you know. And um, <clears throat> from then on, it's been a learning experience. We're working with David Sachs. He's the one that hired us. And then we also did the other show, uh, the Ultimate Variety Show. That he owned as well. Theater, right. Yes. So, so we did two shows, two shows, two different shows a day, but they, but they both ran twice a day. So we did four shows a day. We used to run through the back, open one show, run through the back hallway, and right on time, we hop right on stage and do our routine. And then from there, uh, a few years ago, there was a, a bidding war. Some producers came to see us, see us at Vegas' show, and these two producers are now very fond of each other, so it played in our favor. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the bidding war. 
And we, I, we didn't want to leave for the first like six months they were asking us. And asking Where were they us. trying to get you to go to? Uh, to a show called Vegas Nocturne, which was opening um, at the Cosmopolitan. And, uh, and that ran for about eight months. But good thing, our, uh, yeah, it worked well. Did you go to that show? Yeah, yeah we, 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 we wound up going, going, going there. And, um, and, then, pro- and that show closed. But, but, yeah. but being there was a great experience because... We were like the stars of the show. The they showcase. Like, we're, yeah. they, they showcased us really well. There was a movable stage, like the Nicholas Brothers. Wow. They, 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 it rotated. It and rotated. Went up and it went down. up and down. It, it was yeah. a catwalk. It turned to a staircase. And it was, it was said like they spent like a million dollars just on the stage. And yeah. it was built around us. So that was cool, you know? Yeah. Did that show, Nocturne, once it ended, you had another show at Cosmopolitan? Um, no. Uh, Vegas Nocturne was that show. But then it was at Rose Ride the Lie. But yeah. then, when that show ended... We had no contract. If the, if the show doesn't last, you have to put in a sister show. But that's something they wanted to do, so it worked well for both of us. And that show is absent. And, and that's our season's palace now. We've been with them for the past, what, two years? Yeah, and it's yeah. been voted uh, the best show in Vegas history. Uh, uh, last year, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Vegas, Vegas. In, Vegas. in 2016, in, in Vegas, yeah, in, in Vegas, Vegas history. history. That's right. Yeah. That's historical. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get on uh, crime scenes? How'd you run into Stevie Mac? Um, well, I've been, we've been on Stevie Mac since we were about what, babies, seven, eight. Yeah. yeah, we were babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, you know, it's, it's been family. You know, we used to talk as Stevie Mac's one act. Alamar Park. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For about what, two years, a yeah. year? Like it was a long time. We used to go every weekend or something like that. It was fun, you know. That was the first show we did, really. Yeah. So then you guys are gonna do a cat hammer song. Show me, show me, show me. Hey, First show we did working with Stevie Mac One Act back at Lamert Park, and we're glad to be back with them now. Yeah, working on crime scenes. 